Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic in software development. Our viewer is implementing the repository pattern using Schoolbrite and School Delight for offline data storage, alongside Retrofit for HTTP requests. Let's explore the challenges they are facing. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To implement the repository pattern with Schoolbrite and Retrofit, we need to manage data from both the local database and the server efficiently. Let's start by defining how we can retrieve items from the database. Next, we will create a method to fetch items from the server. This method will also handle inserting the fetched items into the database. We use a transaction to ensure data integrity. Now we need to combine the database and server observables. We will use observable.am to prioritize the database stream if it has data, while still allowing the server stream to provide updates. It's important to ensure that we keep the subscription to the SQL Bright database open for updates. This way, any changes in the database will be reflected in real time. Finally, we want to avoid emitting empty results while the network request is still in progress. This allows us to show a progress indicator to the user during the initial load. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To effectively fetch data from both local and remote sources, we can use a repository pattern with Schoolbrite or School Delight for offline databases and Retrofit for HTTP requests. We create a data class that wraps our data and indicates its source, either local or server. In the getData method, we use a behavior subject to cache data and compare it with server data to avoid unnecessary UI updates. This approach eliminates the need for delay subscription and prevents multiple server calls, improving efficiency. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The code provided has a contradiction. The line suggests returning items from a database query, but names it DB, which implies it's the database itself. This indicates that the code cannot be fixed as is. There are many Java templates available for implementing the repository pattern. A recommended resource is a blog post from Big Nerd Ranch. If the provided information isn't sufficient, consider sharing code that more closely aligns with your description for better assistance. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.